Good morning, Grizzlies. This is Haley Anderson with Janin, your Grizzly News Network. We have several videos for you today, and up first is Donovan letting us know about the new football field at Spring Valley. Hi, I'm Donovan Mariello, and today I am bringing you a story about the Spring Valley football field that they are putting in this year. And my personal opinion is I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a nice improvement, and I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm here with Andrew Mariello. And what are your opinions on the new football field at Spring Valley High School? Um, my new my opinions on the Spring Valley football field, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be great because it's always great to improve when uh, it comes to the sport of football. Uh, the field we have right now has kind of been worn down for the, over the past 14 years it's been at the Spring Valley. So it's great to see that there's going to be a new field. That's great. So what is your relationship to Spring Valley? Uh, so right now I'm a football player at Spring Valley. I'm a varsity football player. I've been playing football there for four years now, since freshman year. Uh, I got moved up at the end of my freshman year to varsity, so it's been a great experience ever since then. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Once again, it's Donovan here, and I wanted to actually bring you guys out here to the football field to kind of show you well, what's going on at this moment in time while you guys are sitting at home quarantine? Like, the, probably the progression they've made or, or to show you what I'm talking about in the video. Well, as you can see, this is the progression of our field right now. They're digging up grass pits in the field. And, you know, honestly, this field has been, you know, really dry. We get kids all year through PE classes, soccer players, everything like that running on and off this field. So we didn't get the best field but now we're getting this new field and you know we're all really excited i have two more years after this year playing on this field and you know i just can't wait it's going to be amazing and i want you guys to look at it now and don't get used to it because bigger and better things are coming this is going to be the new football field that we are receiving at spring valley high school thank you donovan for your report up next is Morgan Pierce telling us more about in-person learning during these times. When students are learning in classrooms, they are more committed and have less distractions, so they concentrate better. They have face-to-face -face instructions and hands-on teaching, which impacts their learning. Networking is also less sophisticated, and students get to communicate more with their classmates. 50 million public school students return to their classrooms, but many schools still have COVID outbreaks. Some states that have COVID outbreaks are known to be in hot spots like Georgia. There are many new rules that students and staff must abide by, like avoiding physical contact, high-risk activities, and always wearing a mask. They also have to social distance six feet apart at all times. I called three students from Faith Lutheran Middle School and High School to get their experiences with in-person learning during quarantine. So what are some new COVID rules you have to follow at school? Um, so we have to wear masks like 24 seven in the classrooms unless we're getting a drink of water. And then the class, the hallways are like one way. Um, only like half of us go to school at a time. So like kids with the last name A through L go to school on one day and then M through Z go on a different day. Do you feel safe from the virus at school? I mean, yeah. Like, we constantly have to wipe down our tables. Like, after each class, we have to, like, wipe down and disinfect. And there's hand sanitizer everywhere, and everyone's wearing masks and staying separate. So. Would you rather go to school online or in person? Um, so, at my school, we're doing, like, hybrid right now. So, it's two days at school, two days online so i kind of like the mix of both because i kind of get like the best of both worlds thank you morgan for letting us know and here's sandy with news on the presidential election hey grizzlies it's almost that time of the year again presidential elections are coming up even though you may not be into politics or eligible to vote it's important to know what's in store for our future and country 
The two candidates left running for this year's presidential election are Joe Biden and Donald Trump. The former vice president and now the Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden is focusing on restoring America's standing on the global stage, adding a public option to the Affordable Health Care Act, and strengthening economic protections for low-income workers in industries such as manufacturing and fast food. Donald Trump, the 45th president, is running for re-election and focusing on undoing the policies of the Obama administration, including the Health Care Act, environmental regulation, and immigration. He wants to improve the workforce and strengthen the economy. Let's hear about what one of our Spring Valley Grizzlies has to say about their election. Ivana Karastoba, one of the seniors at Spring Valley High School, states, I'm concerned with the complexities of voting now due to the circumstances we are in, but I'm hopeful of voter turnout. I feel like this quarantine has made people more aware than ever before about the issues our country is facing and has been facing for centuries, and this awareness and eagerness to make a change will reflect on election day with this surge in new voters. I encourage anyone who has the ability to vote with this election to do so, and anyone who is not eligible to still pursue other ways of getting involved because our voices are heard and they do matter. A special thanks to Ivana for allowing me to use her commentary. We as students need to unite together and respectfully motivate adults to vote to not only benefit them, but to benefit our generations as well. I strongly encourage people who are 18 years of age or older to vote and make a change to better our national community. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy, for your report. And finally, I went along with Julie to remind you the positives of being stuck at home. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, everyone. Okay, let's get right down to business, shall we? I bet you never ask. Today's topic is about the coronavirus and how we can all get through this time together. As of right now, 16th of September, there's approximately 30 million cases worldwide. Yes, the numbers are high, but think about it this way. Over 21 million people have recovered from this virus. Because of the coronavirus, everyone globally has been put into quarantine to prevent getting and spreading this virus. During this isolating time, people have had really the time to grow more as a person. For example, we have all had the time to pick up a new hobby, uh, take care of our family, take a break from society, and really just better ourselves as people. We've had the luxury of having a fellow teenager tell us what she has to say about these times and how it has affected her. How the coronavirus has affected me is to cherish the little things because I wasn't able to see my friends for six months. I wasn't able to hug my grand grand for six months. It was just, it was hard and it, it made me have a different outlook. Um, what I'm looking forward to in these times is that people are being safe and that they, they're wearing masks, they're washing their hands. They're overall just being really aware and contribute to us healing as a country because around the world they're, they're getting back together, but we are really struggling and I hope that instead of focusing on our differences, we can come together, wear our masks, and hopefully do more things in person again. What we can do is try to see the good in things right now, from small acts of kindness to albums that literally got us dancing. For example, China has confirmed that their phase three testing shows positive results in vaccine trials. Because of this, we may be able to get back to normal as early as November, even. So if you're ever feeling down, just think about that. If you feel like you need help or guidance, please contact the following numbers on the screen. Wednesday Wellness Check is also provided for you straight from your school counselors if you ever need to, to share your problem or just talk. Stay safe out there, Grizzlies, and remember to have a wonderful day today.